I've got some stuff I want to say. First, I want to paraphrase that what we're going to say and talk about may not be 100% what everybody wants in terms of an answer to this, you know, question and to this issue. You're going to say what you know or what you think and how you feel about it and maybe a little bit of the backstory regarding the episode. We definitely want to settle the issue and give the fans a little bit of what they want, but kind of went from we're going to give Chris's perspective on the issue to the fans asking like, can we rewrite the episode? Can we make a new episode? Can you give us like some fan fiction or something? And I don't think legally you're allowed to do any more Loud House stuff. You parted ways from the Loud House so you no longer work on the show. You cannot make any more comics or stories regarding the loud characters you don't own it nickelodeon owns it so from that perspective you cannot rub it in why don't you <laughs> well you just can't you know because what the fans are like well him just absolving her isn't going to be enough because we need him to actually like create a whole story around it but you can't legally you can't so i just want to set that clear that he's going to give the answer that he can within legal parameters within legal parameters yeah. yes is a good one well, um, I'll be brief too. I don't want it to need to be a really long video, but a couple of things I wanted to say up front. It's been almost six years, uh, I think, since this episode came out. And I would have thought maybe after six years, we still wouldn't be talking about it, but here we are. So, okay. Um, another thing is when there was a hit on the show, I made sure that the proper people got the proper credit for it. And when there was a miss on the show, which apparently this particular episode was a miss, whenever there was a miss, I always took the responsibility for that. I never pointed fingers to anyone else besides myself. So in this respect for this episode, I'll take responsibility for it being a miss. That said, I just want to clarify, the idea of the episode was when Lincoln's sisters wanted something so bad that they thought for one second that his, that he was bad luck. They needed to do anything they could to make sure that they didn't lose the thing that they want. And of course the episode took place and ha 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 and they realized they were wrong and he wasn't bad luck. And they kind of apologized at the end and the joke ending was they learned their lesson on him being bad luck and they treated him a certain way. But then when they realized he was good luck, they did the exact same thing and treated him poorly as well because they wanted all the good stuff that came with his good luck. Now if it didn't come across that way then of course again my responsibility and I should have made sure it did. But in the process of making a cartoon it's not as cut and dry as everybody makes it. There's a lot of people, a lot of points of view, a lot of opinions, um, and I can't be involved in every single thing. But in this respect I'll take responsibility for it. Um, we're supposed to be talking about Lucy, so I digress. We'll, we'll, we'll switch to Lucy. What is the consensus with Lucy? So obviously people were upset about the episode and that how the Clearly. sisters turned on Lincoln. So the fans kind of, in that specific episode, really hated the sisters. And I guess people had watched this so many times that they went back and realized, well, Lucy had, I guess, and I haven't even seen the episode, so this is just based on what I've been told. Too, yeah. Um, that Lucy was one of the characters that didn't have any lines and based on different histories and things that fans behind the scenes kind of know more about that maybe there is a chance that this one time that I know a lot of times this is just kind of gang up together that maybe she wasn't involved in this and that's what the fans want this <laughs> little loophole that can we absolve Lucy in no such a look uh, sure, why not? Um, here's the thing, is again, the, the process of making a cartoon, there's a good chance in one of the drafts that Lucy had some lines, but all of those drafts are meaningless. What is, what is the most important is the final um, product, the episode that you saw on TV. Lucy's a spiritual person, and I don't know if she necessarily worries about good luck or bad luck. Certainly she has her tarot cards and she worries because those tarot cards are speaking to her, or as she puts it, people from beyond. Um, so luck would not be something within her, her character. So yeah, if Lucy didn't speak, she's usually a quiet person and uh, 
If she doesn't speak up about something, that's okay. And even in the very pilot episode, she just kept appearing and scaring Lincoln. So it gives you an idea of who she is, is that she really doesn't push herself to the forefront uh, in most episodes. Um, so yeah, I think that if Lucy didn't say anything, if people feel as though her not saying anything absolves her from being like the other nine sisters in that particular episode, then yeah, I'll I'll go with that, I'll support that. Um, it may not be what the writer had in mind, but who cares what the writer had in mind? It's what everybody else thinks. If you think that helps uh, Lucy's character and it helps the episode to not be so irredeemable, then I'll support you on that. That's good. So hopefully that kind of answers people's questions. And again, you can't go back and change the story. And I don't know if like in a hypothetical situation, if ever you were given the opportunity or allowed by Nickelodeon, any kind of work on The Loud House, if it would be a cool idea to kind of make an episode kind of seeing like from Lucy's perspective. It might um, be. It that might would be like a cool way of actually redeeming her. Yeah, like but, a, what was going on while the other stuff was going on. Yeah, and kind of like almost fix the episode by using this loophole to go back and yes. do it like one of those types of episodes. I wish I could, I can't. And to be honest with everybody, it's really difficult for me to revisit The Loud House in general. Clearly obvious reasons. So in, in a sense, it's a little painful. Um, and I'm not asking for anybody's sympathy. I'm just saying it's difficult. So hopefully what we've said here is enough. Um, I know it's not going to please everybody, but our, you know, our goal is to really just let you all know that we're here for you, we're listening to you, and that we will do our best to help out and answer any questions that you might have. Awesome. If you have some comments, put them down below and we'll try and answer them. Yes. Okay, bye everybody. Bye.